Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be using Mythical Scrolls on my Dark Blade. That's right, it's upgraded and going to get hopefully a blessing. So, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. So this is the first mythical scroll that we're going to craft right here with all these ingredients. Let's go craft that and now let's use it. So the first things we are going to get are beast level three, natural level three, piercing also level three. Oh, and we got a unique, it's rage. So on the first one, we got a unique, that's awesome. Hopefully we keep this luck. Let's go on to the second one. Let's craft another one and then use it right now. All right, so we got a beast. Oh, and a deadly level four. We got lucky, piercing, siphon, and what? We got rage again? That's the same unique as the first time. I don't know if this is lucky or not, but I hope it is. Oh, it turns out I ran out of Leviathan scales. Now I have to go onto the Robux scrolls. That's right, I'm spending Robux to get the scrolls. While I am talking about Robux, if you want a chance to win right here some mythical scrolls, nice. Make sure to number one, be in the third C, number two, like this video and subscribe. Number three, comment which sword you would like to use the scrolls on if you win. And number four, Join my Discord server, which is linked in the description below, and go to the giveaways channel to join the giveaway. If you haven't liked and subscribed, but you win, I will reselect the winner, so make sure to like and subscribe. Now onto the Robux rolls. All right, so this is the first of the Robux rolls, which is our third roll right here. All right, we get an Agile one, a Beast level two, Efficient, piercing level two and sharp level three. Oh, and we also get a strong grip. I really like strong grip because you can not have any sword stats and like put it in your fruit or your gun and you'll still do tons of damage because, well, everyone puts stats into their melee. Oh, it looks like we're going to do a pirate raid quickly. So let's see what we get. Oh, we only got a sand fruit. That's all right, back to the rolling and goodbye strong grip, you'll be loved forever. All right, on to the next roll. We get an agile, a beast, efficient, lucky, and a siphon level three. Oh, and we also get rage as well. All right, we're going to get a blessing. Come on, let's get a blessing already. On to our fifth try, we're getting some agile, deadly, efficient, some fortune, and some piercing level four. Oh, but no unique at all this time. All right, that's a little sad, but on to the next one. Beast level four already, wow. Efficient, sharp, siphon, all right. And masterpiece, whoa. Now masterpiece I think is one of the coolest uniques because it's like higher damage, lower cooldowns, and you don't use any energy while using the moves, which I think is really useful. But anyway, Let's continue. Agile, deadly, efficient, piercing, a sharp level three. Ooh, a vampiric. And also rage, that's awesome. I'm sad that I'm getting so many rages, but not a single blessing. I feel like that one was so close to a blessing. Or at least it felt like it anyway. I don't know, I just had a feeling that it would be. Now onto the next one, the eighth in total. We get a beast, we get deadly, pretty high elemental, ooh, nicer fortune, siphon, and ooh, that's cool, sharpshooter. That one increases the damage, but also increases the cooldowns. On my next one, I just get rage. Like, oh my goodness, I'm getting this one a lot. And what? Not a single unique on my 10th one. All right, let's see if Letting my dad do it will get me something special. So, it gets an agile, a deadly, efficient, elemental, piercing level three, siphon level three, and, and, and that's it. 
no unique. Oh. Alright. And on the 12th, we also get no unique at all. Let's see on the 13th if it, we will be lucky. So we get an efficient level 3 already. It's pretty high. A lucky, some piercing, a sharp, siphon level 2, and a level 1 vampiric with masterpiece as well. That's awesome. I love vampiric because it heals and masterpiece is just one of my favorite uniques. I hope I get a blessing with them. Now onto the 14th spin. We got agile level 2. We got a deadly, we got a level 3 efficient, and then some fortune, lucky, sharp, and strong grip. Oh yes, this is the second time we've seen strong grip. Now the 15th roll. I have a feeling this one's gonna be lucky. So, we get an agile, a level 3 elemental, some fortune, a level 2 lucky, natural, a level 2 piercing, and no unique. Oh, I, I swear, this game's scamming all my Robux. If you're gonna try and use mythical scrolls, do not use your Robux. Onto the 16th, we get a deadly level 4. That's like the maximum you can get. That's awesome. With elemental, lucky, piercing, level 3. That's cool. And another vampiric. Now, I think the deadly and vampiric with a blessing would be awesome i just love that now on to our 17th total spin we get a beast then an elemental with fortune level 2 lucky natural siphon vampiric level 1 and finally we get the sea blessing we finally get a blessing after 17 scrolls oh my goodness so here i've got my Dark Blade with the Sea Blessing. Let me just turn off my Haki. You can see it's like misty blue sea colored, you know? Like that. It's pretty cool. Now, let's go to this boss over here, a little Mr. Captain Elephant. Let's see. I hit him. Oh yeah, that's right. It uh this one doesn't work on non fruit users. So, let's see if it works on this Kilo Admiral. Oh, I guess it's just players. But anyway, what this C Blessing does is it stops health regen for a little amount of time. So that makes the C Blessing right here a complete counter to the Angel Race. So if I hit someone with it, it changes their regen from whatever they have now like for example my regen to one per second they regen one health per second no matter if they use the angel v3 ability or not they'll still regen really slowly so as long as i hit an angel with my dark blade which is also almost level 600 i probably should get the last three mastery levels on that when i hit an angel with it and as long as i hit an angel with it I think I should be able to win any fight against an angel. So in total, I used 17 mythical scrolls. Two which I crafted and 15 which I bought with Robux. That's 7,500 Robux used, 10 uniques overall over all of the scrolls, and one blessing with a 10% chance from the mythical scrolls I got it on my 17th try. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.